That's what I made today out here in Middle Tennessee. The Geographical Center of Something Shop Dog Sound. To get serious about these fuel pump plungers, it is really it's 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 of it's of all importance that if you have a fuel pump that leaks, most likely it's the fuel pump plunger shaft. One of the most most important parts, and uh, and the most neglected, evidently. And, and and I just finished up this group, just one, two, three, four, just now. Uh, I put a put a brass plunger in there, and uh, you know done a lot of factory, you know a, a light press fit, you know, and then. Uh, Painted them over, and uh, and this one right here, kind of. I'll tell you about this one. Uh, when when I was taking the old shaft out, it's uh, being this one right here. It was tight in there, and so I drilled the hole all the way down in yonder and relieved the pressure on the side. Went on ahead and knocked it out, only to come to find out it had a had a cross pin in there so I knocked that out and then when I put it back together uh, there's a peened over end set in there tight there was another one in the bunch this one th this was in a fuel pump that that uh, that had a cross pin in it you know just a straight shaft and they had drilled it out so uh, just one of them things you find but uh, four one and a half and three three horsepower seven sixteenth size on that uh, same story bratted over on the top light press fit uh, good to go and this six horsepower um, just worked it over with a ball peen hammer the price is a little hard but it worked okay so that's all I'm going to say about them fuel pump plungers. Hey, y'all come on back and we'll work on something else.